from great victories for the kingdom of Gondor to his untimely death at the hands of the uruk -hai, we take a closer look at Boromir, captain of Gondor. A valiant warrior, Boromir was known in Gondor for his greatness. Born in the year 2978 of the Third Age, Boromir was the eldest child of Denethor II, the penultimate ruling steward of Gondor, and his wife Findulas. When Boromir was 10 years old, his mother passed away. After this had happened, his father, Denethor, became a grim person and visibly preferred Boromir over his younger brother, Faramir. Despite Denethor visibly preferring Boromir over Faramir, Boromir always looked after his younger brother and they became very close. Before the War of the Ring, Boromir fought in the great battle for the eastern part of Osgiliath. Boromir, together with his brother Faramir and two others, were the only ones that survived of the unit that held the bridge until its destruction. After the bridge was destroyed, the four survivors had to swim the river Anduin to reach safety, seek for the sword that was broken, in Imladris it dwells. There shall be counsels taken, stronger than Morgul's spells. There shall be shown a token, that doom is near at hand, for Isildur's bane shall waken, and the halfling forth shall stand. This riddle was given to both Boromir and Faramir in both their dreams, and against the will of his father, Denethor, Boromir set out from Minas Tirith to Rivendell. On his way to Rivendell, Boromir lost his horse in Tharbat and traveled the rest of the way to Rivendell on foot. This journey took Boromir 110 days. Boromir arrived at the beginning of the Council of Elrond, during which he spoke about Mordor's attacks on Gondor and how the One Ring should be given to Gondor, as Boromir thought that the Ring would be kept safe there. However, the Council disagreed with Boromir, and found that the only safe thing to do was to destroy the Ring, once and for all. After the Council of Elrond, Boromir joined the Fellowship of the Ring, the Nine Companions. Among these Nine Companions were of course Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, Gandalf, Boromir himself, and the four hobbits, Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. Boromir proved himself a worthy warrior in addition to the Fellowship in the Mines of Moria, where the Fellowship fought off a large number of orcs and goblins. After Gandalf fell with Durin's Bane, also known as the Balrog of Moria, the Fellowship made it out of Moria. Aragorn had decided that the Fellowship would go to Lothlorien, but Boromir opposed to this decision claiming that the south was a better option and that Galadriel's magic would harm the Fellowship. After Aragorn assured Boromir that the elves would help them, Boromir agreed to go to Lothlorien. Before leaving Lothlorien, Boromir was given an elven cloak and also a golden belt. Boromir thought that the One Ring would be beneficial to Gondor and that it could be used to defeat Sauron and return Gondor to its former glory. However, when he tried convincing Frodo to give the ring, Boromir tried to take it by force and Frodo fled. After realizing that his actions were caused by the One Ring, he returned to the camp and was confronted by Aragorn about Frodo. Boromir told Aragorn that he tried to convince Frodo to bring the One Ring to Gondor. He also told Aragorn that, after an argument, Frodo had walked off. The Fellowship had thoughts about what really happened, but never confronted Boromir about it. After hearing that Frodo had walked off, and not having returned yet, the Fellowship started looking for him. Boromir was tasked with looking after Merry and Pippin. While looking for Frodo, Merry and Pippin ran into a group of uruk -hai. Boromir, who was of course tasked with looking after them, came to their aid and fought off as many uruk -hai as he could. But more uruk -hai came, and Boromir was mortally wounded by a great amount of arrows. With the Horn of Gondor split in two, Aragorn found Boromir dying under a tree. With no sign of Merry and Pippin, Aragorn stayed with Boromir until he died from his wounds. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli laid Boromir's body inside one of the boats they arrived in and sent him down the falls of Ralvos. After this, Aragorn and Legolas sang the lament for Boromir. Three days after Boromir's death, his brother Faramir found his funeral boat on the Anduin and brought it to his father Denethor. This drove Denethor in despair. All in all, Boromir was selfless and bold, a great and mighty warrior, even respected by his enemies. However, his will to protect the people of Gondor 
and his inability to do so left him vulnerable to being corrupted by the One Ring, which in the end caused him to fall.